The Defense Ministry issued its 2015 annual report today announcing for the first time China's military will be able to completely overtake Taiwan by 2020. The ministry also continued its recruitment of an all-volunteer force, turning part of its annual report into a comic book and a board game. These red and blue board pieces are printed with different military weapons and equipment. They can be moved around this game board, potentially helping attract young people to a career in the military service. Additionally, a portion of this year's annual report was written in comic form to help attract young recruits. However, the report also says the threat Taiwan faces from China's military force hasn't abated as it warns China could fully defeat Taiwan's forces by the year 2020. By 2020, China's core military preparedness will be directed towards Taiwan. The defense ministry continues to be cautious about the military imbalance between Taiwan and China. The deployment of recently acquired 8H-64E Apache attack helicopters has been hampered by corrosion of the tail rotor box, meaning only eight of the 29 helicopters are operational. We immediately made an appeal to the U.S. because this type of tail rotor box is made from new material and not the traditional aluminum alloy. The U.S. is taking this issue quite seriously, and if the current tail rotor boxes are found to have no safety concerns, we will continue to allow these helicopters to operate. Army Aviation Special Forces Commander Huang Guoming says Taiwan and the U.S. are currently cooperating to find a solution to defective tail rotor boxes, as he promised to make good on an earlier pledge that all Apache helicopters will be ready for deployment by 2017.